The reciprocating movement is the way to avoid one of the most common risks during preparation, instrument fracture due to overstressing the material. In order to understand the advantages of the reciprocating movement, we need to take a look at the main reason that conventional rotary instruments fracture. Cyclic fatigue, torsional fatigue, and blocking of the instrument in the canal. Cyclic fatigue is caused by the repeated tension and compression of the instrument, for example, in a canal curvature. Studies show that an instrument is subjected to significantly less cyclic fatigue in the reciprocating movement than in continuous rotary, which means there is a reduced risk of fracture due to cyclic fatigue. Torsional fatigue can happen when an instrument is subjected to continual load through force, through the cutting process, as well as through repeated binding in the canal. The risk of fracture due to torsional fatigue is reduced with reciproc, but we'll go into this more when we talk about the next cause of instrument fracture. The blocking of the instrument in the canal. So what exactly happens to an instrument in continuous rotary movement when it blocks in the canal? It is subjected to torsional load, which causes structural changes in the metal. These changes can be reversible or irreversible, depending how large the angle of rotation of the instrument is. If the changes in the metal structure are reversible, the instrument returns to its original form when the instrument tip is freed and is not weakened. This phase is called the elastic phase. Irreversible changes which weaken the instrument only happen at larger angles of rotation. What happens? If, for example, an instrument's tip is blocked in the canal and the motor continues to rotate the instrument, it is subjected to such a strong load that permanent changes which cannot be reversed occur in the metal structure and the instrument is weakened. This phase is called the plastic phase. The point of transition from the elastic to the plastic phase is called the elastic limit. If a rotary instrument is repeatedly taken past its elastic limit, for example through force, through the cutting process, or through repeated binding in the canal, the metal structure will undergo changes. The instrument will deform until it finally fractures through the continual torsional load. How is this relevant to preparation with reciproc in reciprocating movement? The risk of instrument fracture due to a blocked instrument is reduced to a minimum because the VDW reciproc motors are programmed with specific angles of rotation, which are below reciproc's elastic limit, together with further motor parameters which allow optimal, safe and efficient preparation. It's not just any reciprocating movement. VDW motors and instruments have the perfect interplay that minimizes the risk of instrument fracture. 